Hello, my name is Ilya Ramadanovic, and for the past summer, I've set out to measure distance from a rocket. So, the math part of it was, I took Raspberry Pi, an accelerometer, I got the data, and so, Excel velocity, which is basically how fast you have gone, um, can be found with acceleration over time. And so, this accelerometer will give you acceleration, and the pi can measure time. So, acceleration over time. So there we have velocity. And velocity over time is distance. So, that's distance. So, um, that was the math part. So that's pretty easy. Um, and you just put those in some lists and replit and um, make a program that plotted them. But how we did that is we got a rocket and we got Raspberry Pi, and so first thing was hook up Raspberry Pi to an accelerometer. And we did that, and we created like a little rocket of paper and just chucked it across the room. But one thing we discovered from that test is the accelerometer we got was, we maxed it out. So it was not good enough for our means because I was just throwing it across the room and we were going to be launching it in the air. Um, so, next thing we did was we created a mount that would put the Raspberry Pi and the accelerometer on a stomp rocket. Um, then we launched that up. It was still the same accelerometer, um, but it only went about as tall as me, and I'm like five foot one. Um, so, again, not that high. Not that high. Um, next thing we did um, is we got a new accelerometer. And the challenging part of that one is it was analog, so we needed an ADC for it to communicate to the Raspberry Pi over I2C. And that never ended up working out, but we did end up picking up a digital one. Um, but so the next stage after that um, was to get a nose cone that would fit the Raspberry Pi. So first step was to make the model a nose cone that would just be a copy of the other nose cone. And so this is what we came up with. So, so the one, this one is the nose cone that I came with. And notice how there, uh, the one that we made is not as tall. It's just because our 3D printer can't print that high. So that was annoying, but it works fine. Um, so the next thing we did was we decided that um, we wanted, well, the pie would slide in on the bottom part of the nose cone. So we ended up printing a bunch of these little bottom parts. So the first thing we did was we just took um, this part out, um, this little crescent part out, and we just emptied it out. And then we got just a little something like this that we could put in and it went in. But there are two problems with this. Is. One, um, it even when there was no way to secure it. Um, and two, it can't go all the way into the nose cone because it'll go out. Square. So next stage was we made one that could screw in which is better, but it still had a little play there. And it was amazing. So for the final stage, um, we created one with guide rails and screw one screw hole. And so then we created our final nose cone, which had screw hole, and then the guide rails in it. You can really see that. And this is our piece of the Raspberry Pi and accelerometer and a little quadcopter battery that would go up there, it's powering it. And as you see, that can fit in to this cone. It's a bit tricky. And then you can screw it in and put it on the rocket and launch it. <laughs> um, so once that was done, once um, we were ready for launch. 
So we launched it and then everything went well and we got the data from the Raspberry Pi and covered it. And then once we did that, we went home and um, created a little program that took the data that was captured from the Raspberry Pi, um, which was just acceleration and time. And then we made velocity and distance with that. And I told you the math part in the beginning. And so this is the rocket that we did it with, plus a nose cone. So shop cords hanging out, but you can basically see just the rocket. Something is uh, the launching lug. The lug line that we got was two big of the lugs here. are made out of ballpoint pen, which is sort of funny. Um, but yeah, so they went great. Um, rocket went about 1,500 feet, and yeah.